Hello. I'm here at this junkyard that's near Wapato, Washington. It's a pretty interesting junkyard. What truck is this? I know it's a GMC 370. Should it start with the original motor? Yep, looks like it's a slant six. Pretty interesting truck. What year is this? I I best guess it's probably a 1957, judging by this whole shape. Let's see if it has some stuff in here. So this is the inside, just the cab and the engine. And it's a manual transmission. And it has 71,000 miles. Hmm. That's a lot for an old truck before it died here. A, looks like it's a four speed, I believe. See, it kind of. Here's this truck. Oh, the bin scratched off. Yeah, I believe this is like a 1957 GMC truck. Not exactly sure the model, but pretty interesting. Mainly I'm looking for a 99 304 Mustang. Ooh, Falcon. Falcon Futura. Looks like it might be might be a 65. My dad used to have one back in high school. His was a 65 Ford Falcon Coupe. It's a sedan. Or it might be a 64. I could be wrong. And it looks like it has a slant 6 also. Distributor has already been taken off. Or the cap's off. But interesting. It's an interesting vehicle. It looks pretty nice too. Ooh, if my dad saw this, he would have been all over it probably. <laughs> Looks like it has speakers mounted on. So at some point, someone already mounted some aftermarket stuff. Cup holders. Check out the driver's side. Oh, maybe not. I guess I'll check out the passenger. Or, I mean, not passenger, rear. That's some old paperwork, but uh, not really. It doesn't look like it's too interesting. Let's see if I can open it from the inside. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, I did that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this is the VIN. Looks like it's a... Uh, I'm not sure the... 20J. Might be a 64 or 65. S265, 353 miles? I could be reading it wrong. Pretty nice car. Anyways. Oh, well, I'll let my dad know I found a Falcon. <laughs> Alright, next. Car. Well, if I find an interesting car, I'll I'll show it. <laughs> nope. Yeah, found something a little bit eye-catching. Oh, that's a that's a nasty uh, crash that whoever owned this vehicle got into. 
Looks like it's a 98 through 2002 Navigator, but yeah. Nice cars in general, but not so nice when they're thrashed up like this. This is a... Huh. Looks like, oh, it's 2000. Yeah, it's 2002. Yeah, because... I think after June, uh, at June, or after June, the month of any vehicle that was made, they'd be uh, the newer model, let's say like a 2001, like I just showed you, that was made in 2001, but it was made after June, so it's considered a 2002 model. I could be wrong, but yeah, and this is a Eclipse, I like this generation more than the and the next one after this one. <laughs> Door's locked. It's pretty nice. This little JDM car you can soup up. Besides the regular motor. Take a look inside. It's automatic, I already know. Let's see if I can open it from inside. And uh, it looks like it's this is a 1997. One hundred sixty-one thousand miles. I mean, this car has some potential. If you're a car guy, you know, like the JDM stuff, you know this would have some potential. But, well, it's interesting. Fine. And uh, a T-Bird on. I mean, looks like it's already been taken off a lot of stuff. <laughs> Shock and chills. I used to have a T Bridon, but mine was a 2008 model. That was the last year of the T Bridon I have. This is probably. Judging by the front, it looks like a 99 or a 2000. Oh, yeah, it's a 2000. I could probably look at the end, it'll give me the same info. Yep, indeed, this is a 2000 t -Bidon. Nice car, too. Well, it was. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it has a shock and chill. It still looks good, fairly. Clothing. Well, yeah, interesting T-Bridon. That one has some potential too, but too thrashed. It's savable though. Oh, not far. Well, from the tube and on over there, I seen a few cars that caught my interest. Versus this Honda Del Sol. Huh. Not too much left to it. Oh, and there's a missing, you know, parts I was looking for, but that one. I don't think there's any parts to scrap off of this one besides the engine. It ain't caught on fire or something, huh? Oh, this is a grim reminder. Like, just look after yourself or something. That, something like this is gonna happen. <laughs> and, well, this is a brand new battery, still under warranty. You can return it, but. If the receipt's in there, but I was probably fucking burnt too. And here's a nice 1698 Mustang model. I still have the shock and shell too. Debating if I should keep taking it with me. <laughs> uh, doesn't. I'll try the other side. Oh, 
Oh, actually, this part might actually work. Maybe. Uh, oh. Well, I'm going to get that part real quick. Well, I got my part where I need. Instead of ordering online, because it, of course, costs some money. And this is the first part I won't take, because, uh... It's a common issue with these mustings, they always, this part always breaks, you know, when taking off a door panel. This always breaks, and you'll need a new one after, like once you take it off, you'll need a new one. Yeah. Very, very nice mustings, but, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, got what I need to make my mustang better. Oh, this is a fox body. I think this might be a Mercury Capri, but you know, the Mercury Capri and the Mustang, they share the same styles, just different looks. But this, yeah, this one's a, I'm not sure what year this one is. I know it's mid, mid or early 1980s. Ooh. It's a V8, 5.0 possibly. Hood scoop, yeah, I think this is a 5.0. See what's left in this one. Uh, oh, can't really open it. But you can see here, wood grain dashboard. It's a, it's a five speed. And this is a 1982. Wait, hold on, let me double check. June. Oh, yeah, this yeah, this has to be an 83 then. Yeah, the Fox White Mustang says the same style with the Capri. No, I said it already. <laughs> Lincoln Town Car. I was thinking about buying one of these lately, but I was, at the same time, I kind of wanted a 96 Impala SS. So these are pretty nice cars, too. Uh, it's an ornament. <laughs> It's good. It's good enough for well to look around on it. All right. Oh, there's more Mustangs too. Well, if there's anything better than this, better looking than this, then I'll get to it. Oh, this one's a. Oh, this one's a GT. Nice. The 4.6 liters. <laughs> Box cutter, of course. Uh, looks like they already got into that part too. What I wanted. It's a five speed. Judging by the hood scoop, it's probably a 2002, 2001, or some. I'd say this, yeah, it's probably a 2002 also. Oh, I like how it has the Cobra rims on it. <laughs> Stylish. Well, that's Ford mats. Dang. <laughs> Here I should consider putting mine. Putting some in my Mustang. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see what's in the trunk. Yeah, uh, they're both closed, but eh, eh I'm good. Good looking. <laughs> what is it, a Dodge Stealth? Or is it a Dodge Trash Coupe? Oh, it's a Dodge Avenger Coupe. <laughs> These cars you don't see anymore, or you still see them, but you don't see them every day now. And uh, same with these Crown Vicks too. This 
convicts are reliable just like the Lincolns. They share the same parts and all that. And this one's a police interceptor. So most of the police, well, all of them had the 4.6 liters. The police interceptors had a bit more souped up engine than just a typical V8. Anyways. Huh. Well, see what I find in my adventure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, let's see. Alright, well, I'm out of that section of the area. Now I'm in the Jeeps, Dodge, and Plymouth products. Cadillac, also the world, all sorts of mixtures. Sorry, I can't talk. Remember the last time I came here? The first time I came here, there used to be uh, murder homes over here. I guess they took them out a while ago. But I looked into them a little bit. Pretty interesting. Everything about the junk is interesting. <laughs> of course. One, one kind of caught my eye is this. This is Jeep Wagoneer. 4.0 liter. <laughs> Dead bees. Had a nest in there at one point. Yeah, that one caught my eye. I guess I'll open the engine. Or the hood, I mean. <laughs> Just look to here. Ah, oh, shit. Interior is not, uh, not too bad. I mean, could use a do-over. But yeah. Looks like someone put an aftermarket stereo. I guess I'll look in the back real quick. Not really too much. So it's it so it's the engine. Distributor. Yeah, this this car can be saved. It's probably just been sitting here for for a long while in someone's backyard probably, but I think it'd be worth saving because these can go for a lot, a lot for value. You can go up. Look at that Jeep though. Yes. Moving on here, old trucks, trailer hitch, it has the original manual, it's the F-250, work truck, not with really much interesting stuff in it. I'm kind of curious what's in here. Probably nothing, too. Probably nothing. Nah. Gotta get through. Ooh. It's a crew cab, Sierra. I wonder what motor this one is. I, mean, I don't think it's a 350, or I, or it probably is, but someone must have painted it at one point. It's a 3500. That's a pretty nice truck. Yeah, 
Yeah, moving on to this one. The Bronco. I'm, I am a fan of the Broncos. I really like these trucks. This one's a, a manual also. <laughs> Now you can remove the top. I mean, of course, anyone who owns a Bronco knows that feature. I never owned a Bronco, but it'd be cool to have one. <laughs> the interior looks good too. Well, mostly. Looks like someone ordered, got a new windshield. Ouch, got a little piece of glass. They paid 270 so it's a brand new windshield. What date was this ordered actually? Oh, it was ordered on, it was ordered last year, October 14th. Oh, that's sad. The next, well, you know, next year is gonna end up here. This one has to be in 87 through, you know, I don't think, I think it's 1990 actually, I can tell. Cause they did change the looks a little bit. And then the Toyota Celica. Here is pretty clean ish, of course. That's not bad looking. Throttle body intake, you know, looking. has some shit on it, of course. Not sure what kind of, what kind of transmission it had. I feel like it. I'm judge, judging by that. It's probably an automatic. Or no, it's a, it was a manual. I can see the clutch pedal. And what year? This is a '79. Huh. Interesting car. Yeah. Oh. Moving on to more cars to explore. Ooh. Oh, I found one, one Camaro and a Firebird. It's pretty nice. I'm check out the BMW. It's in good condition. All the lights in the back. Take a look at this Camaro 305. There's a T top window. Used to have a 5.0 liter, but someone took it off. It's like an early 1990s model. The headlights change.
Oh, I like the two-tone seats. <laughs> Seen better days. Yep. I think I, I remember this firebird. Last time I came here, it was like all the way over here. Yeah, I remember this car. It used to have, some, used to have a lot of interior stuff, but it looks like they stripped off most of it. But yeah, I remember this car. <laughs> it's been here for a, a good while. Old license plate. Looks like it was registered in '93. Bill of hay. Yeah, that's some old stuff. Even the bottle's old too, but I don't feel like touching too many stuff. Oh, I can tell this is a C10. Some camper C20 has a 350 and still there. Oh, this that's a pretty nice C10, probably 68 or 69. Pretty nice though. So it looks like it's been sitting there and in the previous owner's yard or whatever. Looks like he's been sitting there since 1993. 28 years ago. Or close to 29 years ago. Now it's sitting in another junkyard. <laughs> it's not really much anything eye-catching at the moment. We're gonna be going to the other side. All right, hold up. <laughs> That one car kind of touched my eye. Let's see. Our trucks. Oh. This one is what brought me back here. <laughs> Valve covers and stuff. They put Mustang seats or something, or kind of. <laughs> those aren't the original seats, for sure. I can definitely say. Nope. Oh. Fire extinguisher. I don't. I kind of feel like I want to test out, but yeah, I already know it works so on. No bothering. <laughs> Oh, it's registration numbers. Oh, it's a 1971. Oh. Well, let's move on. I'm moving on to the other side. Need some pickups. What Mercedes is this? this? S500? Oh, yeah. I like the factory rims it has on it. The AMG rims. <laughs> kind of interested in looking at this one. A lot of room. No, well, I might just sit in it. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of room. It's a pretty nice car. Me and German cars in general are pain to work with. Yeah, it's a pretty nice car. 
It has documents. Looks like a bond to a person named Richard, but I don't want to say I don't want to say too much. Seats felt comfortable. If I had this car, I would definitely take care of it and I would uh, make something, I'd make it look really nice. Oh, it's already lowered. <laughs> so I think that's what really got me interested in this one because these cars, uh, this kind of Mercedes, like this style, I really like. <laughs> Nothing too interesting. There's a bunch of El Dorados. Oh, it looks like that's it for that side, or for this whole area. Earlier off the video, I was checking if this is worth uh, taking with me. But it looks like someone already pried it open and I can see a couple missing components, so it's not worth taking. Pontiac vibe. Uh, I guess I got what I needed, so I'll be on my way. There's some. some uh, I don't know which car to start from. I might start from the end. I've seen a bunch of classic cars. <laughs> this is a real treasure right here. <laughs> Let's see, I start this one. Oh, this this is a 1967 Impala four door. The tail lights give it away from me. Oh, yep, I was right. It's a '67. Those will go for at least thirty thousand if they're fixed up, pristine and stuff. Oh man, this I would save. I mean, it, there's really nothing much in the interior, but still. Oh. Oh, there's a dead mammal in there. Yeah, I don't know if it's dead or alive. I can tell you, a bunch of bees and carcass. Yeah, it's definitely dead. Well, if someone has guests to clean all that up and restore it. Hmm. I wonder what this one is, a Dodge Coronet? Custom Royal. So this is a nice car. Gas cap. <laughs> I kind of do, but kind of don't want to look at it ever since I saw that dead mammal in there. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to have to grow some grow stomach, grow some balls for this one. What year is this, I wonder? Well, that one I can't open. 
and I had I'm afraid to open the hood. <laughs> this how you Oh, the hood latch is broken. Never, never mind. That one's. <laughs> Oh, that has window vents. Same with these ones. Yeah. Yep. It's a pretty nice custom one. Take a look at this one. This one. Oh, this one's a Dodge Coronet. Still has the engine. It still turns over. It could be saved. The engine, at least. I don't know about the rest of the car, though. There's a Mustang, too. But I don't need parts off of that one anymore. Original wheel. <laughs> All right, up to the next car. This one, is that Nova? At least this one looks in better shape than the fucking two, three cars. Oh yeah, it's a Nova. Not much to it. Different rooftop. Also a Nova, and there's rotten food. That's fucking disgusting. Revolting. So that's an Oldsmobile Delta 88, I think. To it. It's a pretty nice car. This is a Pontiac Catalina two door. Oh. I I thought those people were talking to me or something. That's why I kinda of shot off the video real quick. Uh but yeah. <laughs> Looks like that's about it. Dodge charger. Oh, they're semi trucks. And, uh, I... I 
I know they have a cabin inside too, but eh, I think I'll pass on that one. Oh, there's this car. I'll look at that shortly. This is a Chrysler 300C and it has a Hemi engine. It's either 5.7 or 6.1. 5.7 because it's a Chrysler C. The srt has had a 6.1 um, Hemi V8. Still has seats too. They look fairly good. Yeah. I used to have a Chrysler myself. But mine was a V6 and it broke down. And I just scrapped that pile of junk. But yeah, those guys are pretty nice though. Oh, this one's a Nova again, <laughs> obviously. Still has the 350 or 305. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a 350. The label says it. it has Pontiac rims. <laughs> All right. Looks like that's, that's the end of my ex, my car exploration, my junkyard exploration, I should say. It's a pretty interesting adventure. I mean, the first time was even better because there's more stuff but I guess I got what I wanted I went to other junkyards for this simple piece they didn't have it but this one did <laughs> well I guess that's that's it might come here next time all right a quick look there's oh there's another 67 Impala or Caprice it's a two-door. It's a truck too. It was a Thunderbird. Yeah, they have some rare cars. I know there's some rare cars not far from here. They're just saying they're rotting away too. But they're in better condition. Well, not as bad as the class the old cars, the classic cars I was looking at, where it has dead animals and shit. Jesus. <laughs> but well, I guess that's, this is it. Well, I had fun enjoying this adventure. <laughs> well.